In the next task we shall be connecting the hard drive and the optical drive. Currently there are two main types of connections available, such as SATA or Serial ATA and PATA or Parallel ATA. This task can vary depending upon the hardware used, although we shall be focusing mainly on SATA devices, as these are the most popular choices these days. The number of SATA ports found on a motherboard varies. Here we can see 8, whilst here there are only 2. We shall also find that the colour of these differ. In some cases this is to identify the different types on the motherboard. Throughout the course the term SATA is used generically. There are actually three types of SATA speeds currently available, although the physical connections remain the same. SATA or SATA1, which allows data transfer of up to 1.5 gigabits per second. SATA2 allows the data transfer of 3 gigabits per second. SATA2 is designed to be backward compatible, so a SATA2 device can be used with the regular SATA1 port, although the full performance of the device will not be achieved. The third generation of SATA is now available in high-end systems and is known as SATA 6, which allows data transfer of 6 gigabits per second. Each port can support just one device. You will also find that there is a priority to these ports. As an example, the first port may be labelled as SATA 1 and will have priority to the port labelled as SATA 2, but this priority can be changed. Also during this task, we shall be looking at the BIOS, or basic input-output system, and also the CMOS, or complementary metal oxide semiconductor. We shall look at the relationship between these, and how they can interact with each other. The BIOS is a software program that resides on the motherboard, and is used to change the information held within the CMOS. The unique thing about the CMOS is it can store information just like RAM, but it requires power to retain its information. This is produced by a 3.3 volt lithium battery. The CMOS contains basic configuration information such as the date and time, installed devices such as hard drives, information regarding boot devices, which device contains the operating system etc. The next task will demonstrate how the BIOS will be accessed while locating important information.